サースネクスト Welcome, folks, to my latest attempt at a Let's Play, Resident Evil 2. Now, if this looks a bit weird, and hopefully if it, uh, this goes through, you should know this is the PC version. Due to numerous complications I'm going through, uh, or I am having, I should say, uh, I currently have an inability to record from a console. So, I've had to figure out that this has a PC version, which I didn't know existed. This is actually a translated Japanese version of the game. So, th this will explain a lot that happens later on. Uh, now, in order to play with the North American version, apparently that's called Arrange Mode. Don't ask me for the names, and for... I will actually be going through both sets of campaigns. And by both sets, I mean Leon A, Claire B, and Claire A, and Leon B. But let's start. Leon A. I go and go on normal difficulty because on only hosers use uh, easy difficulty. Resident Evil. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of Stars members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Yes, due to the... Well, obviously this is the Japanese version, so the FMVs are actually from the Japanese version. And the FMVs are actually the same in both versions. However, the Japanese one... The Japanese version has subtitles hard-coded into the FMVs. The reason for this is that they don't have to record voices more than once. What have we got here? So the voice for Leon is the same in all versions. As far as I know, anyway. Or at least between English and Japanese. Could be different in certain European dialects, but I'm not completely aware. <laughs> Why'd he bite me? Man, what a mess. What could have done this? What was that? What are these things? All right, that's far enough. Don't move! Don't move. No! What's up with that guy? That was a clean hit. Can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. There. Up. Okay. Small note: Leon puts on his visual siren without turning on his horn siren. 
just went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. in one piece. Interesting how their fate changed simply by the small notion of when they spun out, Leon actually, or like the car actually went backwards. If, say, the car was in a different orientation, their fates may be different, as Leon might have been gone on the other side. That's interesting. Anyway, we gotta wait, get away from these clone zombies and uh, take some shelter in a Kendo gun shop, which is a rather strange name. Given that a kendo is a stick. Anyway. Um, yeah. Oh, a yeah, minor note on the models. This is kind of a strange thing, but I don't know why. I've, maybe it's some weird form of nostalgia. Maybe the nostalgia trip is finally starting to hit me. And now everything I preached about and cutting through the hype is starting to get away from me. But I, for some reason, there's just something I like about these blocky models over even the FMV cutscene ones. Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human! <sighs> Sorry about that. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. But you should be safe inside here. I'm keeping a close eye on things. Mm-hmm, <laughs> a close eye. But anyway, as I was saying, there's something very appealing. I don't know why there's something kind of appealing about the way that the blocky figures look. I think it's because it doesn't have that kind of uh, unnecessarily overly rounded outlook that they have in cutscenes. Like, it looks like they're completely breaking their own... Uh, what's the proportions to be to have just to just for the character to just be smooth the only company that seemed to do that really really well was square during this time anyway oh yeah another issue with this uh, version is that it see I, th I think the text is somehow set to the wrong resolution because it goes off the screen so the case is broken there is nothing useful inside I'll try to use um, my memory or I, you can usually just use decent uh, you can really just use the power of, uh... Oh! Well, you can't use it here. You could normally just kind of figure out what are the missing words. However, in the menu, it, that is not the case. It is not translated. It remains in Japanese. However, through my memory, I can probably do okay. And in every one... And this is one of the few runs where I will take the extra effort to practice because... Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Oh, jeez! Nice guy, Gunstorner. Distracts the zombies for us while we make our escape. But, I want to be a cunt. So now, I want to get a weapon of my choosing. So, ah, dang it. She didn't make it that. So, oh, no, 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 come on. Come on. Uh-oh, jeez. Right, come on. 
No! Sir, 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 sir. No cheap shotting. No, get away from me, sir. No hugs. All right, that's what I wanted, his shotgun. Are there easier and, in fact, much simpler ways to get shotguns? Yes, there are. But none of them provide for such entertaining display as I just did by making myself look like a fool. Anyway, so that unnecessary bit of handicapping myself was for what? One weapon that I probably won't use for some time because I'm trying to stay relatively uh, un, uh, un, uninvolved when it comes to shooting enemies. As I shoot enemies. Dang it. What I was trying to do, there is a technique of ensuring that uh, that you can get past a guy, and I never really noticed what it was. If you shoot a guy in the leg and they stumble for a bit, they actually cannot hit you for a while. But you have, but your character has to be in a good enough physical condition to be able to take advantage of this. Oh yeah, L notice this thing. Uh, Leon's limping, but stairs. Oh, he has the immense strength, power, and will to go up them. Anyway, Leon. Unfortunately, uh, does not take care of his physical well-being as well as he does his very nice and well-groomed hair. Anyway, uh, which is a button? Okay. Oh, wow. I forgot to pick up any healing items at all. So, and somehow I, oh, wow. This is actually the ultimate sign of failure. Uh, I somehow by accident forgot to, <laughs> forgot to actually pick up any healing items so now and somehow I've attracted the attention of all the zombies and because I'm so slow there's no way I can sneak past them so I have to actually kill them like a fool this would normally be incredibly unoptimized and a very foolish decision but in this case it is a necessary measure of cautionary planning that is a result of very foolish behavior so anyway this is one of these humorous and Humorous uh, quirk of this game, which is zombies cannot climb anything. Pull-ups. Actually, no, this isn't even a pull-up. It's a stomach-level climb. They've never mastered that art. I could say all I want that uh, I did better in my practice run, but then again, that wasn't on camera, so it doesn't count. Well, it wasn't on fraps, I guess. So anyway, it's unviable to try to take all these guys on my uh, by myself, so walking past. I like a lot of these music transitions. The music normally does have a very good eerie sense, uh, have very good eerie sensibilities to it, but uh, what, what I especially in enjoy about a lot of the music is that so much of it just enters very well. It's this what is about to happen sort of vibe. It's the good introduction, or it's a, it's a good introduction of just like something is progressing. There is a new mood in the air. Anyway, let's refill my gun with ammo. There is, okay, well, there obviously is supposed to be some sort of tactical advantage of, uh, of like actively fi uh, fighting zombies in a particular manner, but oh, I'm dead! Wow. Well, that ended badly, and there was no save point, so I gotta start from the beginning. Okay, now let's try no faffing about mode, which is. I'm going to just concentrate on playing well, as opposed to trying to provide any sort of explanation or well-meaningness. Oh yeah, great, great improvement on the PC version. You can actually skip the cuts, you can actually skip the door transitions. But for whatever reason, you can't skip these cutscenes. You can skip FMVs and door loading transitions, but not this specific, but not specific, uh, non-FMV cutscenes. Alright, it is actually specifically, it's, uh... It seems as if the zombies outside only attack once you've either gotten this piece of hand handgun ammo or you take too much time. Okay, upon second thought, I think I decided that ultimately a shotgun is a very stupid reason to get way too much damage done to myself. So this time, 
I'm just going to ignore the shotgun and wait until I get it at another point in game. Fuck, fuck, god damn it. I thought I thought the second one would get it. It's usually somewhere Oh, dang it! He wasn't pushed by far enough. Okay, I can make this. Okay. So we're in the make a difference alleyway here, or the basketball court. But thankfully this time, unlike before, I'm not limping. I am in probably my cautious, my yellow cautious phase instead of my orange one. I'm speeding through this to give as little time as possible to these uh, zombies getting uh, the attention on me. Alright, and with signature movement, I made it through. Perhaps I should just be going through speedrun mode here. I did, after all, is after my route through this game through speedrun. Although that was more just so I don't get lost. And no, the, I have played through this game. I have actually... I, I was actually planning at one point a cutting through the hype of the entire classic Resident Evil series. Dang it. And I played through all of them. And it was actually quite a memorable moment because I hated playing through Resident Evil Zero so much that I done the I'd also gone to the effort of recording footage for the San and for the Grand Theft Autos, uh, cutting through the hypes before even finishing Resident Evil Zero. Wait, what the heck? I I hear extra zombie sounds. There is no way Brad Vickers is down here. Okay. I was wondering, because there's a hidden zombie here where you can... There's a hidden zombie there that you can uh, sometimes fight uh, as just a means of getting a very specific key. But anyway, yeah. Now I've made it all the way to Raccoon Police Department. Which, while on a very artistically pleasing police station, is not very good in the sense that, um, where do you file a report? I mean, most police stations have a lobby where you can immediately talk to police. Where do you do that here? I mean, there is a place here where it kind of looks like you might do it, but this looks much more like a, uh... This looks like more like a security place, which you'd kind of have... Usually you wouldn't have that be where people enter. Anyway, take some more gun ammo. And now, uh, Leon has to talk to his, uh, commanding officer, Will Smith. <laughs> oh, man. Who... who are you? Oh, you must be the new guy. Leon. Sorry, but... It looks like your party has been canceled. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. They risked their lives to reveal the truth. But no one believed them. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh. Hang in there. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But just go. Fine. But I'm coming back for you. Just hold on. Man, apparently Will Smith is very demanding. So anyway, that's gonna have to be it for this part of Let's Play Resident Evil 2. Uh, actually, not blind. What the fuck am I saying? Let's play Resident Evil 2. Join me next time when uh, I'll explore the rest of the Raccoon Police Department on Leon's first day on the job. He gets to learn about his place of working. Gotta use the computers. I have no clue what any of this says. But anyway, I'll see you guys then.